Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Wednesday, May 1st, 2013. We begin with a story from the world of technology. Supercomputers are an extremely useful tool in scientific research for running simulations and analyzing vast amounts of data. However, even the most powerful supercomputers have some difficulty simulating the brain. They can do it on a large scale, but it takes a really long time. This is due to a fundamental difference in the way a computer works and the way a brain works. No matter how powerful a computer is, it still processes things in a linear fashion, one step after the other. And while slower on the whole, a brain can perform more calculations per second because it processes things in a massively parallel fashion, with many things happening at the same time. Which is why some people over at Stanford have created a new computing platform called NeuroGrid, which is capable of simulating up to 1 million neurons in real time. That's because it actually contains artificial silicon-based structures that replicate the function of biological neurons. Another innovation in this system is how these artificial neurons actually perform calculations. For both a computer and a brain, communication is a digital signal. The neuron either fires or it doesn't. Something within a computer calculation is either true or false. But unlike computers, the actual calculations within a brain are not digital. The signals that determine whether or not a neuron fires come from multiple sources of varying intensities and are therefore more like an analog signal. NeuroGrid also combines analog and digital signaling. With a computing platform like this, researchers may be able to perform faster, cheaper, and better simulations of the brain for general research and the study of diseases. Next is an update from the world of medicine. Researchers from the University of Glasgow have made a discovery that could lead to a new class of cancer-fighting drugs. One of the hallmarks of cancer is that it can grow and divide really, really fast. And sometimes this rapid growth is due to the disruption of a particular signaling pathway within the cell. Called MAPK, it's responsible for part of cell division, gene expression, and reactions to certain environmental stimuli. In certain cancers, disruption of the signaling pathway leads to the expression of more cancer-related genes, faster growth, and eventually tumors. In essence, disrupting this disruption could greatly slow down tumor growth, either stopping it entirely or making other treatments far more effective. Fortunately, the researchers were able to identify a critical point in the pathway that is essential for cancer-related growth. At this point, two particular enzymes fuse together to form a complex, which results in further reactions that accelerate a cell's growth. So they were able to design a peptide molecule that can both enter a cell without detection and break apart these two enzymes, with initial tests showing that it greatly slows tumor cell growth as expected. However encouraging, it'll still be a while before this peptide molecule enters clinical trials and is turned into a drug but it's always good news to have another avenue of approach in the fight against cancer. That's actually it for this week. Just two stories, because we want to let you know about the next episode of the Brain Drizzle podcast. As our guests, we will have two of the people behind the glowing plant Kickstarter you may have heard of in the past few weeks. There is a link in the description to their page, and we'll be going in-depth with them on the podcast. That should be out this weekend, both on this channel and on iTunes, so check it out. And hope you enjoyed this episode. Getting back to our first story, what would you do with a brain simulation? Let us know your thoughts on that and all the stories in the comments.